Heavy bombers typically do not use air-to-air -air missiles for several reasons. For instance, agile fighter aircraft that can maneuver quickly and engage in dogfights typically design air-to-air -air missiles, which are costly to develop, procure, and maintain. Equipping heavy strategic bombers with such missiles would require significant resources and might not provide a commensurate increase in their defensive capabilities. Further, the primary mission of a bomber is to penetrate enemy airspace, evade or overcome air defenses, and deliver its bombs. Heavy bombers optimize their size, weight, and configuration to carry and deliver munitions, not to engage in air-to-air -air combat. Sophisticated self-defense systems equip heavy bombers to safeguard against enemy aircraft. These systems typically include radar warning receivers, electronic countermeasures, chaff and flare dispensers, and defensive turrets with machine guns. Instead of relying on air-to-air -air missiles, these defensive measures aim to deter and engage incoming enemy aircraft. The final and most significant factor is the presence of fighter jets. Fighter jets escort heavy bombers throughout their missions. These jets provide protection and air cover during. The fighter escorts are responsible for engaging and neutralizing enemy aircraft threats, allowing the heavy strategic bombers to focus on their primary mission, which is to bomb the targets on the ground. The coordination between bombers and fighter escorts maximizes the overall defensive capabilities of the formation.